Hello and welcome. I am Exolite and this is my channel. Also, in case anybody wants to know, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. So, I am still out of town, currently staying in a hotel. And because of that, I'm not going to tell the name of the hotel or the location I am. For those of you who have been here for a while, you might remember that I had a little stalker friend. And I learned a good lesson about that because I used to give out all kinds of details about where I lived and who was home and who wasn't and who my family was. And, uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to be a, a little less uh, open and honest about that kind of stuff. So, I don't know where I am or where I'm staying, but I'm still going to tell you a ghost story. So, a week ago, a little over a week ago, my husband and I arrived at this hotel in this town, this city, and it was late. We it was a, it was a we're on a road trip. It was late, and uh, as soon as we got in, it was like one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. He went to bed. I, being the night owl that I am, uh, did some editing on a video. So that was fine. That night went fine. I went to bed at the same time that he was getting up to go to uh, a meeting. So we sort of crossed paths and I tucked myself all in the bed and, um, you know, we said goodnight and everything and he said goodnight and <laughs> good morning, whatever. And he left. So a couple hours later, I feel um, a hand on my back and the hand rubs from my shoulder down to my waist. For anybody that knows me well, they know, and I've talked about this in podcasts too, that I am very extra sensitive to anybody coming up behind me when I don't know they're coming, touching my back in any form. If anybody is going to put their hand on my back, they, my kids, you know, whatever, will say, Hey, listen, I'm going to hug you and put my hand on your back. And they have to spread their hand out as wide as possible. They need to get as much property on there as possible because every nerve ending in my body apparently leads to my back. And it makes me jump. It feels like physical pain. So this could be a, uh, this could be a protective mechanism um, that I've grown to have because of some experiences earlier in my life, but whatever the reason is, it's there. And for some reason, I didn't jump. I sat there and then the hand went from my thigh down to my ankle. I, I knew this could not possibly be my husband. Why? Well, because he put his hand on my back. Okay, number one rule, don't do it. And so I laid there thinking, I'm gonna have to hurt somebody. Somebody has snuck into my hotel room and I'm going to turn around as quickly as possible to catch him off guard because I think I'm sleeping, which I did. And it flipped over really quick and I was like, Brr! and there was nobody there. Okay. Now, um, it's not unusual for me to have paranormal experiences where someone touches my legs or um, my back and... So I've learned 
the hard way. The best way for me to react to something like that is to not acknowledge it, to just go back to sleep. So I laid in the direction facing um, where this person or where this, whatever this is, had touched me. So I was laying that direction now, my back on the other side. And I started to fall asleep. And I heard Tracy in a very distinctive male voice. Tracy. And I'm awake and I'm making sure I'm awake. I'm like, you know, do I feel my toes? Can I control my breathing? And I'm not having a night terror. I'm awake. And I just sit there like with my eyes closed. And then there's a hand on my back. And it's on my shoulder. It stays on my shoulder. And then it slowly moves down to my waist. So I sit up really quickly. And I'm still in the mood, the mode, thinking that I'm going to have to box someone right now, okay? Like, I, before I even sat up, I thought, now's the time for you to get a set of balls. And, you know, if there's a person in here, you're going to have to catch them off guard by you being aggressive first. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I go back to sleep. My husband comes in to check on me during an intermission of his what he's doing, and and um, and I'm asleep. I don't hear him come in. He comes up, and um, he puts his uh, his hand on my my arm, and. I apparently say to him, the hotel is haunted. And he said, apparently, this is according to him, his story. Uh, what did you say? And I said, the hotel is haunted. And he goes, what happened? And I didn't answer him. I said, what happened? And I still didn't answer him. She comes in a little closer and says, what happened? Which at that's the time I wake up with his face close to me, talking to me, and he's wearing a mask, you know, well, you know, not a, you know, a mask, a coping mask. And I jumped and said, what are you doing? And he said, you were talking to me. And I was trying to calm myself down. I'm being scary. And he goes, you were talking to me. And I, I said, I was, I was asleep. And he said, no, you told me that the hotel is haunted. And I, I said, what? And he said, you said twice the hotel is haunted. And I said, that's weird because... I think the hotel is haunted. And we dropped it at that. He knows that I can't talk about things like this. I can't like um, just bring it up, bring it up, and bring it up and have it in the air. It, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but the more you discuss it, the worse it gets for me, not for other people. Usually, except for this time. So two days later, my husband comes bounding out of the shower. And um, on my iPad, and he said, did you... 
you said the, the, the hotel is haunted. And he's like, uh, 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 uh. and I said, yeah. And, you know, I'm not getting emotional about it. And he said, tell me again why you think it's haunted. And so I nonchalantly tell him about the touching, the voices, which I've continued to hear, the voices. And I just don't pay attention. And he says, you're not going to believe what happened to me. And so you, you say to me, you're not going to believe what happened to me. And you got my attention. So I like lean in. What? What happened? He said, I was taking a shower and I felt like I had been stung, a burning sensation. Now you don't have to go any further than that with me because I know that feeling, had it, been there, done that. But he says, and look what happened. And he has three scratches going across his side. That's the first time ever that somebody besides me has been um, physically uh, had anything physical, any marks left on them from something happening. And for those of you who are new, um, if you go back into my earlier videos, I talk about my true haunting and my true uh, paranormal experiences. There's several videos, and in, in a couple of those videos, I get hurt. And one of the things that happened to me was that I was, I got three scratches, lifted up my shirt, and my family saw three more scratches go through that and then three more scratches go through that and we're watching it and the blood starts dripping out because it's going that deep with n nobody's hands on it and the little dots of blood are following the circle the circle the lines so I immediately took a picture of his side because I my first thought in anything you can ask Rob this is true I'll say you need to film it oh, that happened get a picture film it because my first thought is I gotta put that on my channel that's where my mind goes I don't know guys so um, I'm gonna be putting that picture up here right now and just wanted to say that we are going on an adventure this evening, as Rob told you in our in his previous video, that we're gonna go check out a haunted bridge. And um, I've been to haunted bridges before, never seen anything, but there's a first time for everything, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. So I just wanted to share this story with you while it's still very fresh in my memory and the scratches are still very fresh on my husband's skin. Thank you for coming. If you would like to share this video with people who are interested in paranormal activity um, or true crime, um, unsolved true crime, missing 411 stories, um, please do. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that. And, uh, you know, I always share these kind of stories that happen to me and uh, my friends and family share the stories that happen to them. And uh, thank you. Good night.